Okay, well, good news. We got our instructions back. Yes, okay, we'll just start here. We'll just work our way up. What's there? But wait, there's more. You guys like looking at instructions upside down? Come on, ride the train. Come on, ride it. Woo, woo! Alright, so, first things first. Touch all the buttons. This is so good. There is so much customizing I can do with this setup, but I think at first, put everything together that says, this is what your button is on PlayStation. Alright, well, we need to figure out how to get the quick release on there. Alright, so, I do know that the notch needs to be at the top. This guy right here. And that this needs to go in here like so. It's not easy. It doesn't just slide on. Okay, let's look at the instructions again. Show me the quick release. Okay, so I have four M5s for the quick release. Take the plug off the end and then slide the dangle over it. Handle with care. And then put your bolts in. It's one of these piles here. Okay, so we got the big shouldered bolts right here. Uh, M5s. Let's crack her open. Take off that plastic cap. Get out of here. The notch definitely goes on the top. Oh, it falls on now. And we got our wrenchies here. Give us all the tools we need, which is nice. Plus some. <sighs> Thread them in. It's Loctite on them too, dang it. That means they're gonna be harder to screw in. I can't do it all by hand. I didn't see anything about washers for this, but I could be wrong. Here's my instructions. Washers, yep. Okay, I do need the washers. Get out of here. Dang good thing I double checked. I'm here on the break. I got my new toys too, and I'm assembling them for you. That's what we're gonna do because my name is Kyle Rose and I can't wait to share this NASCAR wheel with you. Just gotta manually do this myself here. There's no rushing, okay? You guys will get the expert MAGNET! Get, get out of here, Magnet! You don't want to tighten really too hard, especially on electronics. There's Loctite on these bolts as well. Um, you'll see when I get down there, once I start getting these bolts actually to the bottom, which takes a little bit. Then I'm going to put just a little bit of pressure to tighten it down. We haven't tightened anything down yet. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm doing for like making sure that it's not too tight on electronics, right? It does have Loctite, remember. So you can just kind of pull this until it gets tight. Kind of distribute the load of tightening this thing down across the surface here. So we're going kind of in that X pattern like we talked about. It shouldn't back out. Always recheck things after like a month or so of use because... Uh, bolts uh, with aluminum and steel, they tend to loosen up at first, and then uh, you have to just basically go back, double check everything's tight, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so that's that part of the, we, we did the quick release, so now we gotta build the wheel itself. Where did I put that dang thing? So we're just gonna stick with the stock mounting points, cause um, I don't want to mess around too much with it, I'm not sure how this mounts, we'll need to read the instructions. So this, I believe, needs to mount here, and then the wheel goes on this. This goes in the wheel. <laughs> Three millimeter bolts. Yeah, that makes sense. Six of those. All right. So now all my bolt holes, I need that one, this one, this one, that one, and this one, and that one. That's what I need for my NASCAR wheel. I think this needs to go down first. Come on, Kyle. I thought you were a handyman. I thought you knew how to do this type of stuff. These top and bottom ones first. Come on. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So it needs to be there in order to clear. That's right. All right, so anybody watching, you got to move these things. They have to move with the NASCAR wheel. Cannot, cannot install them at that position. So we're going to have to swap these around to a different mounting location in order to get this NASCAR wheel to mount. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick coffee break here because we need a jeweler's screwdriver to adjust that. Um, Fanatec, if you watch this video, go ahead and uh, instead of putting tiny microscopic little Phillips screws on the, on the head of this, why don't you put a tiny microscopic Allen that fits this Allen wrench that looks like it's completely useless at this point. So I had to go digging around in my garage find my little jeweler's Phillips uh, screwdriver. If you don't have a tiny screwdriver, you can't put it together. So uh, that's that's my input on this. Anyways, got the NASCAR mug out. It's seen some better days. Got a little chipper on there. Now we got our jeweler's screwdriver. Let's go ahead and move these things so we can actually put our wheel on. You gotta move this whole plate 
off of this thing. Is that accurate? I gotta remove that whole freaking plate. I gotta do all of this just to put the wheel on. Okay, we'll do it, because we can't not do it. You got Phillips screw heads here. Put a small Allen, and you can service it. I, I bet you it costs extra, too, because you guys have so many Allens, and then all of a sudden you're like, put a Phillips there. You could service it installed on your wheelbase. This, instead, you have to remove the whole thing because you can't access a screwdriver on that lower bolt. Okay, so we need a mounting point that gives us less interference, which I think is going to be this. Because right, our issue is running up against here. Anyway, there's tiny little washers, this tiny little Phillips. You know, we're trying to use this. So the thread is screwed up on this. Can't use one of these because one of the threads is completely broken on it. Boy, how long did that take? That took me probably 20 minutes to move this from here and 90 degrees. Hello, everybody. Thanks you for watching. Kyle checking out this little wheel right here. Uh, if you like what you see, if you like this content, if you like me making fun of this brand new gizmo here, holding the coffee above all these fancy electronics, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. So as you can see, there's these little channel things down here for all the wires. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we put the wires through these things uh, so that way we don't pinch any and ruin this thing. All right, we get everything carefully placed. It's in, all right, we're in. Blue T handle on this one. So let's bolt on this crap. So we are maximum adjustable uh, location here for these things. All right, so we're screwing it back together now. Uh, ooh. Let's bolt her in, and I think we'll actually be able to use this thing finally. All right, now it's starting to look good. Just to show you guys the clearance issues I'm having, there is no space for this rim and the version two. So now the finishing touch. Then it just it's like mega velcro. You just pop it on, and it's crooked. There we go. That is some serious velcro. That's probably good for the electronics. So now all we gotta do is bolt this wheel on and take it for a drive. What do you guys think? Look at this thing. Here it is in all its glory. What a beautiful looking wheel, not gonna lie. There is no, there is nothing compared to the other wheels. So the cool thing about this, bigger diameter. So having all this extra crap on here has made a difference. So I will have to move my hands. Boy, the shifters are far away. So they do have some mods. Now the shifters are easy to service with the wheel already assembled. I don't need to do any major disassembly to service these. But I use this anyways with the NASCAR stuff. So tip for y'all, whenever I get new stuff, all the bolts, if they give me stuff, I'm gonna throw it all into one single bag. I'm gonna use these because I got my own set. In the meantime, I'm gonna be rolling this. Let's go take this thing out on the racetrack. So much more comfortable. Feels good, man. So my overall first impressions are pretty good. I like the wheel. Uh, I love the bigger diameter immediately. Um, we're gonna do some races on this uh, all week. We'll have a long-term review. Immediate impression is that this is gonna be so much better on races. Appreciate you guys watching the video all the way through for the first, uh, my first like unboxing video of a new product. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Adios. I'd like to mention my merchandise store. Merchandise store below has a whole bunch of really cool stuff of completely original designs. Everything comes out of my own pocket here. I don't have any sponsors. Nobody gives me no freebies, nothing like that. So uh, hit that like, subscribe button down below as well. That also helps out the channel. Uh, we do some streaming for iRacing, uh, but obviously we get some equipment every now and again. Uh, take care. See you in the next video.